Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies have really been bothering me lately. Today is February 20th, Wednesday. Um, I have day off from work today and I had yesterday off from work as well. Yesterday was actually pretty busy. I got laundry done, I cleaned my vanity, cleaned my room, cleaned my bathroom. That's typically what I tend to do on Tuesdays now when I'm not at work. Um, I like to just do all my cleaning and all my laundry since I do that once a week for the most part. Um, at work, they're cleaning out the lockers and repainting them and they're going to assign each girl who's there regularly a locker. Um, so they told us on Monday to clean out our lockers. So I actually cleaned out my entire locker and I went through all my outfits which are in that pink bag right there. Um, and I threw away probably about like six different outfits because a lot of them are just worn and torn and a lot of them were lace and I used to have different nipple rings and my nipple rings used to get caught on the lace and rip it. So I threw out like about five, five different outfits. I washed all my outfits and just organized my bag a little bit more and I counted each outfit. I have over like 20 outfits. Um, we used to have an outfit lady that would come a couple times a week and sell outfits in the locker room and I used to buy outfits all the time from her um, so I have so many outfits because of that I've actually given away a lot of my outfits I've thrown away a few pairs and I still have quite a lot I don't know if that's something you guys would want to see is like an outfit stripper outfit try on type of video um, showing you guys all my outfits I don't know if that's really like appropriate because a lot of my outfits are kind of like really really sexy I work at a fully nude club so we don't have to like be as um, covered up as like a topless club so I don't know that's something I could do for you guys because I have so many outfits and like I honestly pick outfits like by my mood that's usually like what I do like certain outfits are for certain days I have outfits that are like my money making outfits I always make money in so sometimes I wear those like I, I know what works for me and what doesn't on each day so I can kind of do that kind of video for you guys if you want I'm gonna film like a makeup tutorial today but honestly on my days off, I like to let my skin breathe, and I've been having, like, little, I don't know, yesterday, it seems like it's a little bit better today because I put some, like, acne medication on it last night, but I had, like, all these bumps all across my face, and I think it's a side effect of the medication I started. I don't know, because all of a sudden my skin's just weird, so I think it's kind of giving me acne, so I really don't want to, like, wear makeup on my days off. I kind of just want my skin... To breathe so I was gonna film a makeup tutorial or film something but I, I guess I'm just gonna vlog today because I really I really don't want to put makeup on my face today at all I want it just to continue to breathe because the rest of the week I will be putting makeup on for work so yeah and my days off I really just like my skin to detox it's just like my thing so today I have to go to Target and get some groceries for the house so I figured you guys could follow me around look after burp my stomach is still pretty upset <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> um, my stomach is still pretty upset from um, when I started this medication and I started this medication I put it in my calendar so I can kind of keep track I think it was Friday no Saturday morning the 16th of February so it's only been one two three four today's my fifth day of taking this medication and ever since I started it my stomach has been a wreck and my anxiety has been probably even more through the roof. So I don't know if the upset stomach is coming from my anxiety or a side effect of the medication. Again, I don't know, but I do know it's super irritating. But she said to give it four to six weeks for it to level out and for it to work. So it does take time. But in the long run, I know it'll help me because I've been on this medication before and it totally took away my anxiety. And I'm just looking forward to just like not having those compulsive racing thoughts anymore because that is the huge issue is just like overthinking so I'm really looking forward to just like taking a break from feeling like that I know it'll be good most likely by like April I'll definitely be feeling better so I just try to you know focus on that and also like eating healthy and working out like all that stuff really really helps me so I'm just trying to focus on that and 
So I've been on this for a while now. Um, obviously, I've been taking a lot of them because there's like half a container left. This stuff is amazing. I notice that I'm a lot less bloated when I take this. And it is the belly fat formula. So yeah, I think this stuff is amazing. It's a little expensive. It's like 20 something dollars. But if it works, it works. And so far, I really think it's working. It's got fish oil in it, flaxseed oil, and vitamin E as well. So it's just, it's a good little supplement to take along with, you know, other supplements. And yeah, so I'm going to hop in the shower. Our water hasn't really been working. I think they shut off the water. <clears throat> to our building or something because there's always a water issue here. I feel like they're always shutting off the water for something. Um, there's always like leaks or whatever. There's always something going on here. So our water pressure is just low. The water's working, but it's just like low. And I don't want to take a shower unless it's like full pressure because I, I don't. Who wants to shower like that? So once that's figured out, um, I'm going to shower and then I'm going to make a protein smoothie post-workout protein smoothie for my first meal of the day. Made my protein smoothie and this smoothie is 390 calories. We got the strawberry whey protein, PB2, almond milk, frozen strawberries, and that's it. So first meal of the day, 390 and I still have 1,110 calories remaining so i'm just gonna chug this well not chug it but drink it finish it the water is still not really like working and it's almost 11 o'clock so that's kind of annoying i guess it's it's good it's running but it's just not like full pressure so oh no i really don't have like the patience to wait around all day i gotta go to Target and then I also have to go to Petco and get her dog food and uh, all that good stuff so I want to get that out of the way. I like to go get my groceries. Honestly, lately I've been going after work but I actually prefer on my days off just to go do it earlier because I hate when Target's busy and getting groceries when there's kids running around. I just feel like earlier the better uh, in Los Angeles so I guess it really doesn't matter because it's always busy. So I just got out of the shower. I feel so good, so clean. I'm um, going to go to Target, I'm going to call my ride now, and then I'm going to go to Petco after Target, and then I'm going to come home with everything and all that good stuff. So, it's 11.45, it's almost 12, probably be home by like 1, 1 1.30, and put everything away. So I just got home, put all the groceries away, gave Coco some food, and now just chilling. It's 1.19. I actually got everything done before 1.30, so that's good. It's kind of cloudy out. Looks like it's going to rain, but I did want to share with you guys these things that I saw. These were on sale at Target. I've never tried these. But they're basically just marshmallows, and this one's in toasted vanilla, and this one's in strawberries and cream. I get really bad sweet cravings, and I'm always looking for something that's going to, like, satisfy my sweet tooth, but, like, be kind of healthy. And Halo Top is kind of getting old to me, and lately my Target has had not a good selection on um, Halo Top. Like, just not good flavors. Like, oatmeal cookie has not been in stock for two weeks, and that's one of my favorite Halo Tops. So I'm just looking for other things that can kind of satisfy my sweet tooth without being like too high in calories or too high in sugar. So both of these are 80 calories for every four marshmallows that you eat. And total fat, zero saturated fat, um, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium is five for the strawberry ones. And then for the vanilla ones, it's 20. Carbs for um, these vanilla ones is 19 grams for this one. Um, it's 19 grams as well. 15 grams of sugar, and it includes added sugars. It's both the same, and they both have one gram of protein. So really low calorie intake for every four that you eat. So yeah, I just want to see how these are, and they were on sale, like I said, two for seven, they're non-GMO, and they have simple ingredients. I mean, if you look at the ingredients, it's very simple. Cane sugar, tapioca syrup, water, 
invert sugar, gelatin, natural vanilla flavor, natural strawberry flavor, beet juice, tapioca starch. So, yeah, I mean, I'll let you guys know what I think of these. I love marshmallows, so I'm sure I'm going to love these. And out of all the flavors, these two sounded like ones that I would eat. So, I'll let you guys know. And I'm mad they had no Essentia water. I had to get Fiji, which is okay, but they were all out of my favorites. I love lemon water. That's probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to drink, that and cucumber water. I meant to get a cucumber or two at Target, but forgot. But I did not forget to get lemon. I'm gonna put it in my little Starbucks cup. So yummy, she ate her food. Are you full? You feel good? I don't know what I'm doing um, the rest of the day, guys. Uh, I'm not really hungry, which is actually shocking because all I've had today was my, like, protein shake. And normally by now, I'll be, like, starving. But since I started that, I feel like I have to burp. <laughs> since I started that medication, my appetite just decreased a lot. And um, I've been on this medication before, and it did the same thing to me. I lost a lot of weight this medication so I kind of don't want to lose weight kind of like the weight I'm at but it is gonna be what it's gonna be you know I'm not hungry I'm not hungry I'm not gonna like force myself to eat it is early it's 1 30 so I'll probably eat by like three something by three o'clock but I should definitely be like more hungry than I am especially exercising and burning out those calories <laughs> She always loves to be comfortable. After I make the bed, she always lays in the pillows. And she's comfortable. So it's 2.42 in the afternoon. Just been watching Californication and been on YouTube. I'm drinking my lemon water. I'm almost finished with it. I'm starting to cook some food for lunch. So I'm going to make my chickpea pasta shrimp bowl that I always make. And I already put it into my fitness pal. So with one cup of the chickpea pasta, frozen shrimp, broccoli, and some mozzarella. It's gonna be 335 calories, which leaves me 775 calories for like dinner and dessert, or whatever I decide to have. So I still have a lot of calories, but I'm not like starving, just like a little hungry. Um, so I figured I would eat since I am feeling finally like a little bit of an appetite. Something else I wanted to tell you guys is that I don't buy a lot of like juices for the house because a lot of them are loaded with sugar. So I typically drink a lot of water, but sometimes it gets boring. So I like to switch it up and use Crystal Light, which you could buy Crystal Light literally anywhere. Um, it's really low in calories. I think each packet is like five calories and like I use a packet for this whole entire thing of water. So I got the flavors like raspberry tea or something like that and then pink lemonade which is like my all-time favorite so um i like to put that in here when i just get tired of having water i mean water's great for you but sometimes a little bit of flavor switches it up a bit and keeps it keeps things interesting so this is the crystal light raspberry ice and i left the lemons in there and it tastes mm -mm, so good So the pasta's cooking, and we got the shrimp with the mozzarella over here, and I forgot to put the broccoli in the microwave, so I just put it in, but I wanted to tell you guys, I'm obsessed with this broccoli. It's so good, the way it's seasoned. It kind of goes with my whole Italian shrimp chick people, but this broccoli is amazing. Tastes so good. So beautiful. I'm gonna devour this and watch Californication. So I'm kind of craving something sweet. So I figured I would try these on camera, do like a little taste test for you guys and let you guys know like what I think of it. Four of these. 
is 80 calories. It smells like vanilla extract. That's what it looks like. That one's really good. It's a super light vanilla flavor. But if you have like a sweet tooth, and these are definitely like a better option to go for than anything. It's just so low in calories. They were on sale. Oh, these smell so good. These smell like strawberries. These ones are a little smaller. So this is the strawberries and cream. Mm. I don't know. I need another one to really decide. I don't know if I'm really like... The strawberry one kind of tastes a little funny. It's not horrible, but it's kind of chemically, chemic, has like a chemical aftertaste. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So strawberry is not my favorite. The vanilla definitely is, but the vanilla is super light. It's not like a super strong flavor. Neither of them are super strong flavors, but they could definitely like cure a sweet tooth. So check them out if you guys are interested. They had other flavors too. I can't remember which one. just did or just put on a mask it's drying actually pretty quick well it's sort of drying quick um this is just the a charcoal mask i got it at cosmopro i don't know why i'm pink but yeah i'm doing this and let it sit for like 20 minutes draw out any impurities and i'm gonna watch california vacation because it's my favorite show currently Getting hungry, so I'm gonna make some salmon. I took a piece of salmon out of the freezer and put it in the fridge to kind of thaw out a little bit. So I'm gonna cook that with some cauliflower veggie tots and the leftover broccoli from earlier. So that's the salmon, veggie tops. The oven is not fully preheated. So I'm gonna put the timer a little bit longer since it's not fully preheated. We're gonna put it on 40. And that should give it enough time, 10 minutes to preheat and then a half hour it should be done. So tonight's dinner is 300 calories. The salmon kind of fell apart when I was getting it off the uh, baking sheet, but that's the salmon, some broccoli, and then my cauliflower veggie tots. And I like to dip my veggie tots in ketchup. So yeah, this is 300 calories, and I think I still have some calories remaining, but we'll see how I feel. You know, maybe I'll have some dessert after. So I've just been snacking on the marshmallows. I finished eating my meal, my dinner, I'm like 6.40, and now it's 7.03. And I feel like the marshmallows are good because, like, after I have, like, two or three, I kind of feel satisfied as far as, like, my sugar craving. And they kind of fill you up. I don't know. I, I think that's a really good option for, like, when you have, like, sweet tooth cravings and you don't want to eat something super bad. You know, grab some of those marshmallows. I guess, in essence, you could probably grab, like, just regular marshmallows, but I don't know what it would be, like, more sugar or whatever. I'm not sure. If you have to buy that specific brand but I like that it tells you the calories for each like little cube so it's like already portioned out so I guess it's kind of like what you're paying for and of course the labeling and all that so I'm gonna close out the vlog for the day I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'm gonna work the rest of the week my next day off will be next week next Tuesday 
probably going to go get my nails done next Tuesday, so I'll probably vlog. Probably vlog before then. Who am I kidding? I always vlog. So until next time, we will see you guys very soon in the next vlog. Bye, guys.